I always thought my dad was a pretty normal guy. He had a steady job, a loving wife, and two kids. He was never one to attract attention to himself, and always kept to himself. But then, one day, everything changed. It started off small, little changes here and there. He would come home from work with scratches on his arms, claiming he didn't know where they came from. He started talking to himself more often, and he would laugh at things that weren't funny. But it wasn't until he started acting aggressively towards us that we really started to worry. He would fly into rages over the smallest things. One time my sister left a cup on the coffee table, and he flipped it over, spilling the contents everywhere. Another time, he punched a hole in the wall because my mom forgot to buy his favorite brand of cereal. It was like he was a completely different person. We tried talking to him about it, but he just brushed us off. He would tell us he was fine, and that we were overreacting. But we knew something was wrong. And then, things started to get really creepy. One night, I woke up to the sound of whispering. I thought it was my parents talking, so I got out of bed to see what was going on. But when I got to their room, it was empty. The whispering continued, and I realized it was coming from the basement. I made my way down the stairs, and the whispering grew louder. But when I reached the bottom, I saw something that made my blood run cold. My dad was standing in the corner, facing the wall. His back was hunched, and his arms were outstretched, as if he was trying to touch something, but there was nothing there. I tried to call out to him, but he didn't respond. And then the whispering stopped. My dad turned around, and his eyes were completely black. He stared at me for what felt like hours, and then he just walked away. After that night, things got worse. My dad stopped coming home at night, and we would find him sleeping in the woods behind our house. He would come back covered in dirt and blood, and he wouldn't tell us where he had been. And then, one night, he didn't come back at all. We searched for him for days, but there was no sign of him. And then, one day, we received a package in the mail. It was addressed to my mom, and when she opened it, she found a note and a lock of hair. The note read, I have your husband. If you want to see him again, come to the old abandoned house at the edge of town. Come alone. My mom was terrified, but she knew she had to go. She left in the middle of the night and I stayed behind with my sister. Hours passed and my mom still hadn't returned. And then we heard a knock at the door. It was my dad, but he wasn't the same. His eyes were still black and his skin was pale and cold. He was murmuring something. When I came near him, the words became more clear. My death was accident, but my brother was innocent. It was the words that were coming from my father mouth. Suddenly my father fall down on the ground. It was my mother who hit her from the behind. She knew what was going, but was hesitant to tell me. I told her that if you don't tell me, I will take my sister to child support services, and they will take care of it. I know I can handle this trauma, but my little sister should get best everything in her life. After hearing about child support services, my mother feared and told me everything. She said before your father's 15th birthday, we were going to plan a surprise for him in the cabin near the woods. It was perfect place for young teenager to spend time, but your father friend Ron and his brother Adam was having some other plan. They thought of doing a blood ritual to bring their dead sister back. They were going to sacrifice me for that, but at the right moment your father came and saved me. But the demon wants sacrifice, so Ron was sacrificed in the ritual. Adam was shocked and began saying, You killed my brother. I will tell everyone that you did it. Your father was terrified, and in the heat of the moment he pushed him to the ground and causing his head to hit the table, and causing instant death. I was shocked at what I was listening. My mother told me that they cleaned up everything, and didn't let any proof to left behind, and no one has seen them going to the cabin, so they were safe. But they forgot that the spirits never depends on justice. So I asked my mother what should be do now. My mother told that his father cannot escape from Therry Cage, so it's time to repeat what he has done in past. It was a story sent to me by an unknown person through a mail. I don't know if this is true or not, so please tell me how you like this story. Please share your thoughts in the comment section.